back, this is Bella Scuba with more Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 1. I am joined, as always, by our jailbreaking squad of Ziggy and Momo. When we last left off, we were in the Pl Pleroma Command Center. If I could pronounce that, it would probably be helpful. When we last left off, we were trying to escape. Let's continue trying to escape. We need to go out through the north here, so let's go ahead and do that. We should end up in a very familiar part of map. Just run. Run, run, run. I don't care about walking right now. And am I where I think I am? I think I can just head up these stairs here. Oh, uh, no. Not these stairs. No. That'd be Who too easy. There? Ah, crap. He heard me. Who goes there? I don't know what you're talking about. Freeze! Wow. Seriously, dude? These are like the worst guards I have ever seen. What the hell? Seriously? I need to head over to the other side, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Because it's easier. Is he going to even spot me if he turns here? Nope. I can literally walk about 10 feet in front of him. And he will not even know that I am there. Sweet. So I'm going to take full advantage of that. Now we can head up here. Where, if you remember, we had found the segment address door. Now, we have decoded it, and we can go inside. Another optional thing. Uh, this is what I was trying to get before, but I forgot they cut off your path to get back here. So, we get a thief ring out of that, and I think I can just uh, extract whatever I want off of that. Can I extract off of that? Oh, I don't have the skill level enough to be able to do that just yet. So... Rare plus 10. Increase rare item acqu acquisition rate 10%. And then if I combine it with the accessory, I can double that effect. Very nice. What do we have here? Uh, evade plus 2 or dexterity plus 2. God, I don't even know which one's better. We'll go for the blue ring. It's useful to just extract everything that you can because then you get levels for that and therefore you can start getting the better stuff that way so let's try to keep that in mind as we go through and by let's i mean i just have to try to keep that in mind and i will try my best to, to do that but there are distinct possibilities that i will forget about the skills and all that kind of stuff so we have completed segment address number four and if i remember right we just need to leave and we need to wait now we can walk again because we are very very stealthy in our incredibly loud shoes well technically his whole legs are incredibly loud but you know what I mean it is ridiculous very very ridiculous I'm just gonna walk all the way across and if I fight this guy I fight this guy Freeze! no problem here Remember, there is one more statue that I do want to destroy, and I think it is actually over here somewhere, so I'm going to look for it. Uh, th there's definitely something here that I want, though, that I remember. Which statue is it? Is it this one? I don't think it is, but more experience is not a bad thing at this point. So there's still one more statue that we are looking for. I think it is in this room. Honestly, I think it's in the middle. I think it's this one right here. There it is. And in there we can find a treasure chest that I can't open just yet. And in the treasure chest we can get decoder 11. Now I don't think that we actually have the door yet for number 11. We'll take a look though. If we do, we'll probably go back to get it. Now we don't have the door yet don't know where it is but we have the key for it which is always nice uh 10 of course and 16. Huh, how are we gonna get back to the road? either way let's get out of here Who goes there? nope you can't catch me i am faster than you sort of or you just stop caring after a while either way i am gone um actually i should probably go back and use another biosphere get back up to full health before we do move on. So I will be right back. 
Okay, all healed. Have used a few more of my skill points, so now Ziggy does have a full set of skills. Dexterity, Evade, and Search Eyes. Nothing more for him to extract anymore, I don't think. Uh, nope, he's got all three that he has the level four, and we'll get that Thief Ring eventually, I assume. Actually, I should probably equip that. Uh, Momo has Dexterity plus two. That is probably more useful for her right now than the Evade. I still have her directly behind Ziggy. Uh, what does she have for equipment? Yeah, we can get rid of one of those for a thief ring. You know, the 10% chance, I'm willing to take that. I want that 10% chance, so we'll go ahead and equip that on Momo so that we can at least attempt to get a rare steal. I think that's my strategy. I'm sticking to it. So, let us get out of here. Finally, we have been here long enough. I'm just going to make a run for it, and nobody seems to care. Sweet! just loud as hell. I can hear it right now. But right now there is a cutscene for us to watch. Just let us escape with day. Not when Margulis is here. I see. It's that body of yours. That got you this far. It's a very nice body. Still, what a worthless bunch. I can't believe they couldn't stop a lone cyborg. I'm sneaky though. Ziggy, this is the guy. Yeah, I know. I think we've all figured that out now, Momo. Looks like I'm about to get some decent exercise. And this baby's quite pleased as well. And it's boss time. We're up against Margulis. Momo, be careful. He's no ordinary enemy. Yeah, no shit. And that hurt quite a bit. Quite a bit. So I'm gonna need pretty much everything that I have here. Uh, I don't think... Unfortunately, there's not much for Momo to do if she gets the first turn just yet. I don't need to heal as of right now. It would have been very useful if I had gotten enough tech points to level up something to uh, the fastest slot, but unfortunately I did not. Uh, I didn't want to do any uh, I think I was, on, I was only around 25 points or so away from that anyway, but still, not necessarily worth it. So, bodyguard is up. Now we start needing to heal. If you could go ahead and heal, that would be appreciated. Ziggy needs your help. This guy hits pretty damn Hard. Now, I don't believe that there is anything that he is particularly weak against when it comes to anybody's attack. Um, either way, we're going to just go for a regular attack and then end. If I could actually do damage to him, that'd probably be helpful as well. And you're not healing fast enough, Momo. You're going to need to work on that. Yes, Mystic Powers indeed. So, it looks like we couldn't do anything with the distance attack. We'll have to get up close. Very nice evade there, Ziggy. Very nice. Okay, we'll have to get up close to him. Uh, we'll stick with the physical. And cyber kick. So much better than it. Chun-Li ever did. I'm calling that right now. Better than Chun-Li. I know I'm crazy. But still, seriously, did you see how fast that was? Ugh. Oh, and you got a boost. Good for you. Freaking Margaret. This is a tough fight. There is no way around it. If you're not leveling, this is tough. And I haven't been leveling, so this is going to be pretty tough. Uh, this is actually the first time that I died in this game was in this fight. I am not ashamed to say that. Hey, 50 damage. Not bad, not bad. We should still be able to heal our way to victory. This is why you have Momo in the back just constantly healing. Don't let her get hit. She'll die. And then you'll have to spend items and time trying to heal her up. It's not good times. It's not good times. Okay, we're going to stick with the physical. 
Uh, actually, can we do ignition? Ignition's worked before. That did pretty well. Cyber kick. Oh, God. Oh, so good. So good. I love that animation. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because how fast he, uh, he kicks. Alright, so then he's going to absorb fire damage for one turn. Luckily, I don't have any plans on using any fire abilities in this next turn. So, should work out just fine for me. Almost back up to full for Ziggy. Yeah, this is a tough fight if you weren't paying attention that you wanted, that they wanted you to put Momo directly behind. And he hit Momo with that, but it didn't seem to do that much damage. Okay, we're gonna go for the regular kick. Once again, I don't like necessarily guarding that much. As much as I like going in for the attack as much as I can. So, I'm gonna keep going for this. Yeah, I was about to say, that better not still be healing him. He's had his one turn. Yeah, he's still got a lot of health. This is actually one that you can lose. Um, this is acceptable in the, in the game for you to lose this fight. I would not recommend that you lose the fight. This is a fight that you can win. So go for the win. Get the points. Hopefully t points times two if you can. But all the experience and all that is definitely worthwhile if you can get to it. Okay, you're going to have to guard this time, unfortunately. Absorbs lightning type attacks. So those are his two kind of defensive measures is directly counter to what Ziggy attacks him with when it comes to the attack attacks. So he's got the lightning covered and he's got the fire covered. So it's pretty clear that you are supposed to be doing almost all of your damage with Ziggy. This time I'm going to be doing all my damage with Runeblade. Runeblade. What that is. It hurt like hell, but it didn't work. It didn't knock me back to the back row. Okay, we'll see if we can do it. I don't think so. Let's go. But we'll try. Go, Cyber Kick. Yeah, not even close. Not even close. I, I, I was kind of hoping that we would get there. Really, dude? You're just going to keep absorbing? You're making this fight look a lot easier than I remember it being. Like I said, this is something that the game allows you to lose. You can full on lose this and it will not be a game over for you. Well, it is, I'm not sure, but that's how it works. Rune blade again. It hurts, but... Ah, God. No, it's not worth it. Not worth it. I'll, heal. I'll guard again. I guard and of course he doesn't even attack. Of course that's how it works. You keep on protecting yourself against that kind of stuff and you see how it works out for you. Now I do have two attacks here. So obviously don't hit him with the attack that he is protected against. He's, he's absorbing fire. Don't hit him with fire. I would, oh, oh, Hill's Crest. Uh, that can do a ton of damage. That, that's the thing that killed me so many times before. All right. He should not be immune to fire anymore. He is not. Now I'm going to save this boost. Hopefully... I don't know. Is it, is, am I going to be able to kill him next turn? I don't know. It's iffy. It's iffy. Momo, of course, can survive one more attack from him, so I'm not going to bother with it. 132. I don't. I don't know. It's like I said. It's close on whether or not the next attack that I get from Ziggy using the tech attack is going to be enough to kill this guy. But I'm going to try to do it. Rune Blade again hurts, but does not push to the back row. If you don't have Momo b directly behind Ziggy, of course, that's going to be a huge annoyance to you because you will have to come up every time. Yeah, eight more damage. Good job. 83 more. God. 
<laughs> oh, just constant heal. We shouldn't need to have to use any items here. Hopefully Momo can cover it until the end, but... Mm. Absorbs fire type. Of course you will, you dick. Right as I'm about to possibly finish you off, you would do that. So, let's stay in the back and go for lightning. I don't think that would have done anything anyway. Let's go. I don't think this is going to do that much damage. Yeah, just 64. Ah, now I do actually need to heal Momo, unfortunately. That is not good. Momo, heal yourself. She couldn't take another Hell's Crest. And I want her to live, damn it. If she dies, she doesn't get any of the points. Points are so important. <laughs> uh, I need to heal him. There we go. Okay. A uh, guard. Now I might be able to still pull this off. I might be able to. We will see. You need... Mm. God, it's right on that line. No, I'm just going to use... How much does it do? Oh, it does like 50. So we'll use a med kit S on Ziggy here. here. Now, as long as he doesn't try to absorb fire again, he doesn't. I should be able to take him out here and get points. Okay, let's go for it. Cyber kick. Let's go. Give me the points, damn it. Give me the points. Points times 10. Come on. I'm begging for it. Yes! Points times 10. And that's how you know you're not really supposed to win that fight. Because he just kind of stands there. Holy crap, look at all these points. Oh my god. This is the beauty of the point system. I'm just gonna let this keep going. I mean, look at all the money. That's two level ups for Momo, if you've been paying attention. She's up to level eight now. Holy crap, 3,000 money, 1,200 experience, 290, 300, 130 when it comes to the points. So good, so good. And a purple ring. I'll probably extract something off of that eventually, but that's fine, we can. What's wrong? What? Is that all you've got? Yeah, it's kind of implied that you lost this even if you win, but... We have explosions, and therefore we are ready to escape. What? What's going on, Terminator? Robocop? What, what do you see? <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. She sounds so calm now. They're being shot at. And she's just like, yeah, okay. I think I'm ready to go. And of course they have something ready to try to pursue. But spoiler alert, I, I, I think we're going to get away. Just, just a hint. He cut through the smoke. Holy crap. Margulis is... Burrow, isn't he? Hurry up and put out the fire before the ammo ignites! That'd probably be a good idea. Margulis does not mess around. You didn't think we were going to kill him off this time, did you? No. He is far too powerful for this. You're late. Who the hell is that? What's up, albino guy? Nothing? We're not even gonna get a name? Nothing. You get nothing. We'll find out who that is eventually. I can guarantee you that. But we got nothing this time. Now we must relive this flashback. What the hell is going on? Is something wrong? No, it's nothing. Momo. Find a trade column and short jump us out of here. I want to get back on our return path once we shake off the pursuit. Okay. 
<laughs> oh, she's cute. Just so happy and eager to do anything. And they don't even like care that they're being pursued. Just whatever, we're gone. They followed them into hyperspace, though. They can do that? How do they know where they're going? Do they have scanners for that? I don't know, I'd assume hyperspace works differently. <laughs> 